It just left UK, Essex, UK, Friday night after close of business. This is Monday afternoon. It was already shipped. It went through Panama and Venezuela this morning. No, yesterday, Sunday. And it was already in Curacao Monday morning. And cleared this afternoon for pickup. And now you're wondering, what is it? I will tell you, this is something I've been waiting for for over 10 years, dreaming about one of these. Sophisticated lady has needed one bad. This is our new propeller. Just custom built by Brunton Propellers. Big shout out to them. Can't believe how fast they pulled this together for us because we told them that we were on the hard now and getting put back in this week and is it even possible to get something arranged that fast? And they were like, well, don't know, but we can try. And they came back and recommended this baby, which is a custom made 21 inch four blade Folding very prop. Look at that, that's a beast. Nice. And this will finally relieve all of the weight of the boat off that four blade fixed prop that we've been dragging around for the last 14 years since I bought Sophisticated Lady. So you can see when we're sailing through the water, it's just gonna furl up like that. It just folds down and no more drag. It won't spin the drivetrain anymore, so no wear and tear on the transmission, the bushings, all of that stuff. So that's gonna be great. Early, we are about to say goodbye to our old faithful four-bladed fixed prop. It has served us well. I must admit, I don't owe it anything. <laughs> that boat, or that prop has crossed oceans and kept this boat going reliably, relentlessly for many, many years. But now it's time to take it to the next level. We need to get something a little faster. We're gonna bring Sophisticated Lady up to modern spec and uh, I'm sure she's gonna gain at least a knot for losing this prop, so. Very much looking forward to that. Better efficiency under power, higher speed even under power and definitely higher speed under sail in less wind, so. Whereas we might have only done five knots before in medium winds, I'm sure we'll be picking up to six knots. And by the time you factor in that we have a new bottom job and no dinghy under tow, I think you're going to see us routinely doing about seven, seven and a half, whereas we used to do five, five and a half. So it all adds up. Every little bit counts. The moment of truth. Big job or small job? Is it going to just pop or are we stuck here for a while? There we go. Yeah, that's it. What? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Clean the shaft. Just got to make sure it fits on the shaft now. Been dreaming about this guy for a long time. So you see basically now we got to do a basic tear down on the prop. It doesn't come into like a million pieces or anything but each blade needs to come off so remove the center hub, take out the spindle pivot bolts and just remove each blade. Then there'll be a center lock nut inside and that's uh, what's going to attach here on the shaft. So once we get all that open, we slide it on, put the shaft nut on, put the blades back on, and put the spindles back in, and then she's good to go. And that, my friends, is how we gain another knot of boat speed. As you can see, the new prop is designed so that as soon as you engage the engine or the transmission in forward or reverse, centrifugal force will actually cause these to flare out and they will hold themselves there against even the pressure of the water to propel the boat. And as soon as you disengage your motor, they will automatically, the pressure of the water coming back past the blades will cause them to feather down like this and instantly reduce your drag and that's going to give us at least another knot of boat speed. So. 
Very happy with this modification. The lady is finally going to be able to strut her stuff like never before. Looking forward to it.